Hollywood. Passes on sale now at tcm.com slash festival. I'm Robert Osborne. Welcome. Good to have you with us on this Christmas Day. Our next film is, I think, a perfect one for the holiday season. It was made way back in 1933, but looks as good today as probably the day it was made, maybe even better. It's a 1933 version of Little Women, produced at the RKO Studios and starring Katherine Hepburn, 26 years old at the time. The movie produced by David O. Selznick when he was 31 years old and running RKO before he became an independent producer and at age 36 produced Gone with the Wind. Little Women, of course, comes from the popular novel by Louisa May Alcott about four daughters in a closely knit family of humble means at the time of the Civil War. The daughters surviving adolescent pains, sisterhood, and romantic illusions looked after by their nurturing mother while the father of the family is off fighting in the Civil War. Catherine Hepburn always said that of all the movies she made, this was one of her two or three favorites. Certainly she's never fit a role better than the one she plays here as the bossy tomboyish Joe. Now it's long been said at one point, Catherine Hepburn was so spunky and infuriating that George Cukor, who directed the movie, actually slapped her out of exasperation. Well, for years I, I really doubted that. I mean, would anyone, even George Cukor, have dared slap Catherine Hepburn back then and expect to live to tell about it? But it turns out that Cukor himself admitted, yes, he had done just that, and he had lived. Not only that, he lived to be a great friend of Catherine Hepburn's Forever After, directing her eight more times. Here she is joined by Joan Bennett as Sister Amy, Francis D. as Sister Meg, and Jean Parker as Sister Beth. Here's David O. Selznick's 1933 production of Little Women. <laughs> 